Okay, let's go to Abuja. Ajiri has a question for you. Ajiri, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Isele, uh, I've, I've been tracking the conversation, and it, it, it sounded as though you, you're skeptical, number one, uh, about the NNPC's account. It was just yesterday we sat down with the chief operating officer of downstream for NNPC, engineer Henry Kemobi, and he was telling us that it's 50 million liters and 1,500 trucks that are moving around the country. Now, it, based on what I'm hearing, you dispute that, number one. Then number two, that the marketers, uh, you're saying it's unlikely that there's this major kind of a hoarding exercise going on because uh, if, if, there's, if there's not a scarcity, then how can they be hoarding? Now, the question I have is if the marketers are coming up and they're saying now, in some cases publicly, that you cannot ask us to bring in this fuel at, 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 at a high landing cost and then sell for 145. Uh, it's very clear that there is a rationale, a motive behind keeping the fuel away from the public because they want to make profit. Now, I'm wondering if you still dispute that based on what we've seen. Now, what I will say is, first of all, who is bringing product into the country? How many marketers are bringing product into the country? As at the time I know from my own knowledge, NNPC is responsible for bringing majority of the products into the country. None of the major marketers are bringing product into the country. Everything comes through NNPC. That's one. Number two is if you say, I'll, I'll, use, the, I'll use the Forex for example. You and I remember that the, the dollar to Naira was, trend, was almost hitting 500 Naira, 500 Naira to the dollar. And when the CBN came up and flooded the market, the price went down. So for you to have scarcity, it means that the NNPC inventory was below what was expected to be stock. No matter what they're going to tell me, and I can tell you now that from October this year, the inventory of NNPC have been going down. So the NNPC need to look at its contractors. What I would advise is, I think the government need to investigate why the NNPC contractors didn't deliver on the set goals. Because you and I know in refinery, in refinery, as at the moment you are in winter in Europe, um, in Europe and America. So it's not, it's, not, it's not attractive to refine at this particular time. And whatever is coming into Nigeria right now is coming in at a premium, which invariably means that the contractors who are supplying NNPC, whatever NNPC is getting the product from right now, are going to make a kill. When you create scarcity, well, that is sense. when they make more money. So this, too, is, is also something that I would like the federal government to look at, to say, okay, how much are we paying now in December or for supplies in December, for supplies in November, and how much would we pay for supply in June? It's more interesting to refine in summer than in winter. So all of these are playing out. First, when you have a scarcity such as this, the first thing that comes up is, okay, there's a plan to increase the pump price of petrol. So the, the Ipman, independent marketers that you are looking at, how many, what are the quantities that they are bringing in? Majorly, more than 90% of what we get in-house comes from an NPC. Mr. Isele, Mr. Isele the, you were the president of TUC, the Trade Union Congress, when we had the, subs, uh, the, the fuel subsidy uh, protests of 2012. Uh, you remember very well what the issues were. We had briefcase companies importing refined petroleum products. Some of them didn't bring in anything. Some of them underreported and made massive profits. We know the kinds of trillions that we lost, the nation lost at that time. And we know that that's what has led to NNPC being the only company allowed to bring in uh, uh, petroleum products from abroad to cut out these things. Now, if it's all on NNPC right now, all right, and we're talking about how uh, the marketers are, are, are kind of cooperating with NNPC. The NNPC brings in the product. It gives, it gives uh, you know, the quotas to these different uh, companies, the different marketers. But the marketers are clearly putting pressure on the federal government to say, look, we cannot continue to sell at 145 and wait on you to give us the subsidy. That's clearly where the unhappiness is if you have a diversion of products into the neighboring countries. So what, what, I'm, what I really just kind of want to ask you is, if you know that these are the measures that had to be taken in order to sanitize the system, how do we move forward if, if, if we have a situation where there's enough fuel supply, but people are just hoarding? They're just keeping fuel away from the public intentionally for a profit. How do, how do you counter greed, essentially? 
Insanity is defined when you keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. That is insanity. From 2012 to date, it's what is the same thing is still operational. Because even after the 2012 strike on protests that you have on subsidy, what did we do? What were, what were the checks that we put in place? So it's okay, we are never going to have to experience this again. First, I talk about if you see marketers, marketers will always be marketers. They, they, they set up business to make profit. And then what you need to do is that make sure that profit is made within the law. That is why they are regulated. So what do you have to do? First is that you must have a tracking device. It won't co this strike alone would have caused this country over 500 billion naira. I'm looking at the man R, the productivity that has been lost, the health situation that people would have, been fa people would have faced being in the, pump, uh, the petrol stations. It will not cost you up to a billion, a billion naira for you to ensure that you have a tracking device in all of these trucks where you are able to identify if the truck is meant for airport road, for example, if it's meant for Kaduna, if it's meant for Bini, that that truck gets to that destination. And once you do that, the marketers now know that, yes, you have a system in place to check all of this. Our major problem is that we don't have any system. Everything is done on hard hoc basis. Now you have scarcity. Uh, in the next, it's getting better now. In the next three weeks, attention moves to the next drama. That's why I say Nigeria is a country of drama. Mr. Selleck.